Hi there, it's Kelly here today from Divine Alchemy Healing and today I wanted to make a confession to you. So my confession is that I've never really had a big plan in my life. I've never really had um, a career drive or um, a need to write a book or any of those things. My biggest changes have come from times where I've maybe just simply posed a question to the universe, to my guides or whatever you like to think of it as. And I can tell you my first biggest change came when I had lost my eyesight. I was going through a series of, well it turned out to be six eye surgeries and at the time I just had to stop working with horses which was the love of my life really and um, I sort of just put it out there to the universe of what am I going to do next and I didn't really think any more of it than that at the time. This led me to, um, well one day I was looking through Kindred Spirit magazine and I saw an advert for a hypnotherapy training and something in the back of my mind remembered that I'd been for hypnotherapy when I was much younger and the lady who did it actually said to me, I think you'd make a very good hypnotherapist. And at the time, obviously I was working on horses. I think I was 21, I was just about to get married. And yeah, it was really not in my sort of field of vision, let's say. So um, I saw this advert, I had a very tiny amount of sight left at this point and I was using a magnifying glass to actually look through Kindred Spirit magazine and I just applied <laughs> to go on the training and to have the training and I spoke to the lead teacher, put him in the picture because some of it was distant and some of it was practical tests and things like that and he said yeah let's just do it, let's see how you go with it. So what I realised in hindsight was there was no part of me that was looking for obstacles um, at this time, I was just in the flow. I think I must have been quite aligned but without sort of knowing it to that I needed to go down a new path that wasn't going to be involving three quarter of a ton horses <laughs> to look after. And so I just went with it. And by the time I'd finished the training, I was actually pretty much blind. I'd I think I'd had my first eye surgery and then my other eye had started to go. Um, I had two detached retinas. And so what happens is you get a bleed in the eye which covers up your vision. So I actually started putting leaflets at the eye hospital that I was attending in London, um, which was the only place I really was going at the time. And I started getting calls. And funny enough, all my calls were from doctors <laughs> and nursing staff. So my all my first patients were, you know, people from Moorfields Eye Hospital. Thank you very much, Moorfields. Um, and I just went with it. And even though I couldn't see, I couldn't write notes properly, um, I just went with it and just basically allowed my intuition to create scripts for people and to do the work and I had no other way of doing it but I was really busy. I was seeing three or four people a day and um, that led me to doing an EFT training which then led me to doing more clients and so on and so on until it got to where I am today really. Um, another time I posed a question without really much thought as to where it would lead and what I'm getting to with this is that sometimes just putting a question out there and then just going with the flow, not really looking for a massive sign, oh this is the right way or that's the right way or feeling a, very passionate about what it is because I, the things that really stick out for me is I was just so laid back about it, like there was no part of me that was going ahead in time, I was just allowing it to unfold naturally without really any obstacles and my thoughts were very much of yes I can do this, I can do this and so the same thing really happened with um, creating Divine Alchemy Healing Pension Workbook in the fact that I was asking my guides for a way to work very specifically 
for myself and for my clients so that I could really pinpoint what energies it was that we needed to release or what energies it was that triggered them or what happened in their childhood that we needed to release and then also increase positive energies. So that, you know, naturally came about. Metatron um, started giving me words to put on our first charts and we went from there and then very quickly, you know, we had about 20 charts and then my partner Frog saw them and said, oh, I can make these into something beautiful. And again, there was no part of me that was thinking, oh yes, we can do this or we can do that. I think the thought crossed my mind that I might be able to create a nice workbook for my clients um, and do some little mini trainings here um, using the pendulum and using the workbook but as time went on and I started actually writing it it sort of evolved into something much bigger um, you know I wrote all the protocols for the pendulum and charts that we had I wrote a beginner's guide I wrote things about EFT and um, state breaks and lots of little various tips and, and ways to work and when I handed the sort of um, draft product to my partner he thought was like oh my goodness I had no idea you were going to write so much um, there's almost a book here and that's sort of when we started getting the idea well maybe we could sell this again you know there was no forward thinking with this really we weren't actively manifesting it we were going with the flow and being in alignment so you know it took time and it's taken a lot of hours of work because again my my sort of naivety about this whole process was you know all oh, right yeah we'll write a book and we'll sell a book and then it obviously occurred to me oh we need to do a website well, you know, we could have paid someone um, probably quite a lot of money to do it, but we decided we wanted to do it on our own and learn from the experience. And we did it. <laughs> and again, there was a couple of bits where it was like, oh gosh, you know, we're doing this. We don't really know what we're doing, but let's just see how it goes. And between the pair of us, we managed to create our website and then we created the shop and then from there we you know we edited the book heavily <laughs> and we then got the book printed and I had an idea that I really wanted this book to come with a very beautiful pendulum that I would charge up personally for each person and various bits and bobs that come with the book and then you know we had to create how we're going to sell this book and we're still sort of in that process at the moment actually we very much going with the flow. We feel like we do want to get it into some like little local shops and um, some people that we know in Glastonbury and London and things like that. But we're we're not creating obstacles for ourselves as we go down the path. We're just going with it, step by step and enjoying the journey. And I guess that's really what I want to say to people is sometimes you don't have life-changing passions Obviously, some people really do. They might know, you know, even like I remember a friend who, you know, at school she knew from the age of 14 she wanted to be a veterinary nurse and she took steps to create that. And then she became a veterinary nurse, you know. Whereas I, myself, I didn't really have any idea of anything I wanted to do. And I never really have, <laughs> to be fair. You know, um, I knew there was a part of me that would have wanted to work with horses because that was one thing I did know. Um, but, you know, that was it really. Um, and my parents were very much the sort of people that didn't want me to work with horses. They, you know, they were saying, oh, it doesn't pay very well and it's very hard work and it's got a limited shelf life really. Um, and, you know, being very sensible, they sort of tried to help me find something else, but there just was nothing I could think of in my life that I particularly knew with a certainty that I wanted um, and yeah it's interesting isn't it how things manifest naturally or you can manifest things with intention if you've got something you absolutely know so what I'm just really as I round this little talk up is saying you don't have to know exactly what it is that you want to do you don't have to have a burning passion within you to lead you somewhere 
but just ask the question, what is it that would be good for me, my whole self, my soul, my spirit, my emotional states, my mental states to do now and see what comes. And again, you know, it might not come in a lightning flash. It might just come when you're out walking, paying attention to something else or you're doing the hoovering or something. That's when my biggest inspirations come is generally when my physical body is distracted by I'm doing something physical. Um, so yeah, have a think about this and maybe ask some questions that can lead you to other places and see what starts coming into your life. And as I said before, I didn't know what the end result was, which goes against the whole thing of goal setting and everything like that. But it's brought me to where I am today and I've loved every minute of the journey. Um, even this has happened really with my life partners in my life as well. I've never really had an idea of the sort of person I want to date or anything like that. I've never really used dating websites or anything. I've just sort of gone with where the universe takes me and I've had a lot of very lovely experiences because of it. Anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for existing as Rob would say if he was here and please give me a like or subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this and of course some of our videos will be actually doing practical work to release limitations and old energies and things like that. All right, take care and I'm wishing you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.